Hi, welcome for our RTL online trainings. Today we are going to talk about supply chain management uh, purchase orders interview question. In the interviews, they will be asking you, what is the difference between closed purchase order and finally closed purchase order? Generally, when we log in as a buyer, as a procurement buyer, we will be able to access the procurement documents. If we have the access to this, it means if the roles and data access is provided, let's go to purchase orders. And we know that purchase orders, we have three different types, right? Standard purchase order, blanket purchase agreement, contract purchase agreement. And we can perform this here, uh, create purchase orders. Okay. And we can go for import purchase orders here. When we go for manage purchase orders here, and if at all we would like to get the purchase orders which are already closed, then we'll say that yes, include closed documents. So when the purchase order will be closed, uh, we will find different statuses like open, incomplete, closed, closed for receiving, okay, finally closed. The question is, what is the difference between closed purchase order and finally closed purchase order? The difference between these two statuses system will automatically close the purchase order if completely received and built depending on the matching type selected as soon as we receive the goods from the supplier as per the matching type matching type means we have three different types of matchings right two-way matching three-way and four-way matchings according to that as soon as we receive and go for billing once the billing is completed, means invoice is completed in account payables, the purchase order will be closed. Users uh, can close the purchase order manually also. Manually also, we can go ahead for closing. If the PO is closed status, it can be opened again and you can go for progress for further. If the purchase order is in closed status, again, we can go for open that purchase order and we can go for progress for further statuses. We can, you, you can also do the return shipment and closed purchase orders. You can return the shipment, whatever we received from the supplier on the closed purchase order. But if the purchase order is finally closed, then we cannot perform any of these actions. We cannot perform any of these actions. You cannot go to the further because this is the final action will be taken against the closed purchase order. If you choose that final option, it's going to be finally closed. The purchase order status will be finally closed. You cannot perform receipt or invoice against final closed purchase orders. If at all you would like to go for again matching and perform that activity, it's not possible in final closed purchase orders. Whenever we go for final closing purchase order, what system will do in case if there is any encumbrance is enabled, if the budget is allocated, if there is any encumbrance, during this final close, whatever the funds we have not utilized for the purchase order amount, that will be released back to the budget. This is very important. In case if the encumbrance is enabled for your purchase order like budget, then during this final close, you may not utilize the complete amount. So that non-utilized purchase order amount will be released back to the budget. That's what happened whenever you go for final closing purchase order. Okay. So once we uh, log in as a procurement buyer, then we'll be able to find the orders here. And then we can search the purchase orders, which are closed and final closed statuses over here. And we'll find different uh, purchase order statuses also here. We can find, if we look at this purchase order, right now it is closed status. Right now this is going to be closed status. See, this is what actual original document, then close for receiving, then it has been closed over, here it is. Okay, I'll make one more video, uh, how we can go for, uh, perform the final closing options from the front end. Thank you.